Hey there folks, so I really wanted to show off the Curum Black that I've slapped on this team, and so I went on the Wi-Fi Battle Planner to try to fight a battle. Uh, that battle didn't, I didn't get to show off Curum Black, so I had another one. That one didn't get to show off Curum Black. I had two more battles, none of them actually I get to show off Curum Black, but here at least you get to see it a fair amount. And so this is a quadruple header, if at any point you're watching a battle and you're like, this is battle's boring, I want to go to the next one. Um, there should be something in the annotations and probably in the description that'll let you fast forward to um, the appropriate place. So anyway, I lead off with my uh, sturdy, um, what you call it, fortress. Just I want to get uh, entry hazards up against his team, and so I don't mind getting down to my sturdy. I've got the red card, which isn't going to help me too much here, but it's really nice if you go out to an opponent that thinks that they can set up on you with some calm minds. Um, because then they like waste all this time getting up to the plus six. You mean to set up all your entry hazards, and then they uh, they hit you red card out, and if you just laugh your ass off. So anyway, now I send out Nightman. Um, listen to the music playing. Uh, it's from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's where the name is coming from. Anyway, I thought for sure that a Dragon Claw would be able to, be able to take him out, but. God damn it, he had the Havenberry. I was like, I really hope he doesn't have Havenberry. And he does, and it screws me over. So, Nightman is going to get taken out far before it's time. Why didn't I go for out? Actually, Outrage wouldn't have killed anyway. Um, but I didn't want to lock myself into Outrage, considering he does have that Fortress who laughs at Curum Black. Um, yeah, the prevalence of Steel types is really screwing over Curum Black. But on the rare team where it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have a Steel type, or you've already taken out the Steel type, Curum B, Scarf Curum B just sweeps through this whole team. Now you might be wondering, wait, Scarf? I have two Scarfers on this team? Like, yeah, why not? It actually, this team actually works really well. I've laddered pretty high on Pokemon Showdown um, with it in the past, but, you know, today was not my day. Um, so anyway, he sent out his Arceus Grass. I wish I had just gone for the air slash. I'm pretty sure it would have taken out Palkia, but uh, it didn't work out. Anyway, uh... I sent out my Arceus Fighting type, which is modest now instead of timid. I uh, learned how to RNG on my Cyclo DS, and uh, Cyclo DSs do real-time saves, which makes things super easy. Anyway, with my Deliani gone, I've got nothing to deal with uh, his quote hipster, so I'm just going to have to sacrifice Panthalassa, my Kyogre thing. Yeah, I've, you know, it's not really going to help me too much in this match anyway. So now I go into Wash. I think Air Slashes should be able to kill it. Uh, I don't get the flinch, and that's that actually has to not get the flinch because the odds of getting flinch are actually uh, greater than the odds of not getting flinch. So he's able to take me out with a side strike. Lame. Anyway, at this range of health, I can easily take him out with an extreme speed. I didn't actually. I expected him to stay in, um, considering that uh, after hazards, I sh I mean he's just gonna die, and he doesn't have a spinner. So very strange move on his part, but oh well. Um, I'm gonna have to switch out, obviously, because I am a Banded Rayquaza. Banded Rayquaza is awesome. Gonna go back out into my Arceus, who isn't gonna mind being paralyzed too much. He goes for the Leech Seed, and so now I'm predicting him to protect uh, on the next turn, so I'm just gonna take the opportunity to go for the Calm Mind. So, uh, yeah, uh, he goes for the Leech Seed, I go for the Calm Mind. Uh, gonna get my help, uh, you know, gonna, and he doesn't go for the protect, I'm like, oh, lame! So now he goes for the power, I'm gonna get my health down pretty low, and so here I'm gonna play another bit of prediction, I'm gonna predict him to switch out, and I'm gonna go for recover, because as long as he doesn't go into Mewtwo, I should be able to survive, uh, and he hit. anyway, um, actually, yeah, he goes into Mewtwo, and Mewtwo dies, and so I'm thinking, and, but I got fully paralyzed, and I was like, I went for recover! I went for recover! And had I actually gotten off my recover, I might have been able to survive this surf. Not sure if I would have, but I mean, unless he specs, I'm pretty sure I could have. So, Arceus dies. Yeah, was that plus one? Thanks for that combine, but god damn it! So now I'm back out into my Rayquaza. I go for an um, Earthquake. I'm just thinking he might go out into his uh, Fortress. And even if he doesn't, it's like, oh, he says, Surf, uh, doesn't really, I wasn't expecting him to KO because I wasn't expecting him to crit. The Hacks Gods beated me today and I lose the battle in a body bag. So that sucked. Um, so now, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm changing out the background um, just for the next battle. So there's some variation. Yeah, you might notice that uh, you're hearing no, I mean, you're hearing low HP music, but you're not hearing the regular battle music. That's because I figured out how to mute it. It involves ROM hacking. You can't just use an action replay code. So don't ask me for the action replay code, even though I know someone is going to. Um, it involves ROM hacking. So yeah, 
Uh, now my next opponent is, uh, Mr. Jambad. Oh yeah, my first opponent was the Sorkinist. Uh, sorry if I didn't mention that. Uh, so, Mr. Jambad also met the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Planner. I switch out into Arceus, just in case he goes for the Flamethrower. I was pretty sure he was going to go for the U-Turn, but either way, Arceus is fine with that. Uh, now he goes out into Ho-Oh, can't take a Brave Bird, uh, and don't have any super effective moves that I can deal against this guy, so I just go out and pan the Lassa, um, on the off chance he predicts it and goes for some kind of fire type move. Uh, even so, uh, oftentimes Ho-Ohs are slower than my Kyogre, and as you can see here, my Kyogre actually does outspeed, uh, or it's a speed tie, but I doubt it's a speed tie. Um, I'm timid, max speed, not Scarf, uh, obviously because I had leftover recovery. So here, um, I actually should have just gone for the Thunderbolt. Like, you know, he might have gone out into, um, he might have gone out into his Groudon, but oh well. Uh, he sends out his Ar How was I supposed to know that it was Arceus water type anyway? So now I go back out into Nightman, and he's gonna switch out. Go out into Groudon, and actually I think Outrage is a two-hit KO against Groudon, but I don't want to mess with it. And you know, they might he might be running the uh, Stone Edge and might actually try going for it, even though the obvious move is well, if he's going for the Stone Edge, then sending out my Scarfed. Um, want, uh, this guy was just a mistake. Anyway, I go for the Air Slash, uh, and I'm like, come on, Hax Gods, and I get the flinch, yay! And as you can see, that's a two-hit KO against Genesect. Genesect really is not that menacing to my team. And I actually haven't found it too menacing as a general concept. Anyway, now he goes out into his Zekrom. Uh, obviously gonna need to switch out, because I'm locked in to Air Slash. Gonna go out into Arceus, thinking I can probably take a Bolt Strike, and and he goes with a Bolt Strike, and it does a massive amount of damage, way more than I was expecting. And so I think, oh, he must be banded. But no, that was Scarf! I couldn't believe that! And I'm pretty sure my Arceus is pretty bulky, so yeah, I get screwed over by... Yeah, I just get screwed up, but now I know that he's, uh, scarfed, I know he's locked in, I feel safe going out into Nightman, uh, and I just am going to go for Outrage, I'm going to go for Outrage against his, um, his Arceus Water type, and as you see, that is a two-hit KO. This thing is devastating, I mean, just look at how it wrecks. Uh, this is a good t so now I only get the two turns of Outrage, I'm like, god damn it, why, Hax Gods, do you hate me? So, gonna have to switch out. Just gonna have to switch out against his Genesect, and that is a shame. Gonna go out into Panthalassa, uh, and here is something weird happened. If I recall correctly, this U-turn actually took out my Kyogre, which is a theory that is supported by the fact that after I quote unquote switch out my Kyogre the next turn, you never see it again. So, um, you're gonna see a big question mark comes up. I have no idea what happened here. Um, and the battle video obviously got really confused, but you never see Kyogre again. And I have no idea what the deal is. I could probably do some calcs to figure out what weather was going on, but yeah, it's just it's the weirdest thing. Um, no, I mean, it's it's sun throughout, so I have no idea what's going on there, but oh well. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to switch out here. Go out into Rayquaza. Pretty sure I can take a Brave Bird. Uh, he goes for the Substitute, and now I am just going to go for Outrage. Two Outrages to probably KO Ho, oh, I'm not 100% positive. Um, so yeah, Outrage, obviously gonna break the sub at the very least. He's gonna go for Brave Bird, pretty sure I can survive that. Uh, pretty sure. And indeed I do, 114 HP, not bad at all. I am loving Banded Rayquaza, it is freaking amazing. Um, but anyway, now out is, he's gonna send out Groudon thinking that, you know, he can take the Outrage because Groudons tend to be physically defensive. Uh, look at that damage. Yeah, even though I get confused, which is lame! Two two turn outrages! If I'd only get the third turn outrage, but you know what? I decide I'm gonna stay in, uh, hope the Hacks Gods like me today, and I go for another outrage, and I am able to take out that Groudon! So, bye Groudon! Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that my Kyogre died before then, because I'm I'm almost positive that we had we were chatting, uh, and I said, yeah, I don't really care about losing the weather war, it's not a big deal. Anyway, he's gonna... I'm locked in, uh, I can't switch out. He takes me out uh, with the Genesect, like, that's fine. Go out into Wash, uh, I'm faster since I'm Scarfed. He's gonna switch out into his, uh, into his, Terra, uh, what is it called? Into his, um, blah, Zekrom, and I'm gonna have to switch out. Um, and I go out into Deliani uh, to take the Bolt Strike and activate my, um, whatchamacallit, to activate my red card, it's not gonna, it's not gonna help me out here because He's got that Zatsu up, so I'm too afraid to set up my entry as in, <laughs> of all Pokemon to send out. Here I figured, you know, what the hell, let's go for a Gyro Ball. Um, 
he has the heat wave, and that's kind of interesting. I uh, was not expecting that. Anyway, Zekrom, uh, not Zekrom, Kieran Black should be able to easily take out this Zatu. I mean, Zatu is a kind of a lightweight to begin with. I, you don't see it too much in Ubers, actually, I guess it does pretty well in Ubers. He survived! I'm like, oh my god, but you know, it doesn't matter. What's a heat wave gonna do to me? It's not like it's super effective or anything. He gets the burn! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why does this game hate me? Anyway, gonna go for the fusion bolt here. Uh, and that should take out, uh, yeah, that's gonna take him out, even though I'm, you know, burned. I mean, who helped me? Nothing. Uh, gonna switch, uh, I don't, this is kind of a strange movie, I think. Why am I switching out my Nightman? Uh, and that's because, you know, Outrage still should do a decent amount of damage. Plus, I might want to save him for his death fodder later. And, uh, I think that Watch can take this, and he does, on 7 HP! That was kind of amazing. Um, I don't know that I actually really thought that he could take that, but whatever. I take out his, um, Zekron with an Earth Power. Obviously gonna have to switch out his, he got two Pokemon left, Ho-Oh and Genesect. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I can pull this off with a little bit of hacks. Um, gonna go out into Nightman, expecting him to sub. Instead he just goes for Brave Bird. Had he gone for the sub, I'm pretty sure Outrage, uh, even though I'm burned, would have broken his sub and it, we would have just ended up in the same place, but, oh well. Um, that was a good move on his part, I guess. So now I'm gonna go out into Wash, and I'm gonna hope for enough Air Slash flinches to KO his ho in which case I've won, but I don't get even one Air Slash flinch, and Wash is dead, and I have lost the battle, even though the, um... The battle video recorder got really confused, so I have no idea what happened. I don't know what happened to the game there, but the save file obviously got corrupted. Um, whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's, it was on his end too, so there was something really weird that happened there. But in any case, now we are up to the third battle, which is um, a battle against Mr. Mew72, who's a, uh, who is actually... I knew him from YouTube, even though I found him through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Um, so... He was a really good sport. I actually had to disconnect on him because I was having internet issues the first time. And I was like, uh, I'm sorry, I have to disconnect when we reschedule for later. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. So this was, I guess, our second battle, as it were. Oh, yeah, and then um, when we were going for a rematch, it was after Nightfall, and my shaman reverted to its landform, and I was like, he, he noticed it before the battle started, so I was like, I'll be right back. So he was a really good sport about this. So anyway, um, I go for the V-Create thinking he might over-predict and I stand up for God, the animation for V-Create looks so freaking awesome. Um, so that's not going to do... It actually does a fair amount to Kyogre. Uh, you know, the rain doesn't minimize anything because I do have um, airlock. So anyway, here I wish I had predicted him to stay, but I'm playing very conservatively. Uh, I go out into Panthalas, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a double switch because he predicted that. Um, gonna go back in, out into my V-Creating, um, what should I call it? Going out into my V-Creating Rayquaza. Uh, I'm paralyzed, um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm still gonna be faster. Here I just go for another V-Create, uh, against his, uh, Giratina. His Giratina's obviously gonna be able to take that and laugh and laugh. Uh, so Giratina is actually not that big of a threat on, against my team because I have two Pokemon with Stab Outrages, and Stab Outrage will actually, I think it'll one-hit KO, uh, it'll definitely one-hit KO from Rayquaza, I think it's a two-hit KO with, um, Pure and Black, uh, and that's assuming max HP and max defense. Anyway, Wash is gonna come out here, and I decide, eh, what the hell, he's probably just gonna Dragon Tail me anyway, might as well stay in and go for some Air Slashes, so I go for an Air Slash, uh, I get this, like, wow, that's massive damage, like, I get a, I get a crit, so, that was a little bit lame, and I get the flinch, but that's not lame, that is not hacks, so here, um, yeah, I get another flinch, and I'm like, ha, ah, this is kind of awesome, the hacks gods, after pissing on, I'm using, oh, I'm having this battle, after, um, laughing at me for two battles, have now, uh, the tides have turned, the, uh, I'm on the top of the wheel, as it were, and, yeah, he thinks he can switch out into Genesect to take the air slashes, um, nah, nah, uh, I mean, as you saw in the last battle, it's a 2 hit KO, I'm gonna outspeed, I, he didn't realize that I was Scarf, maybe, but, maybe I thought I was Specs, I don't know, but anyway, I take out his Genesect, and that is freaking awesome, here I'm expecting an extreme speed, and if he's banded, that might actually take me out, so I go out into Panthalassa, um, he is going to double switch, predicting my switch, he's actually doing a lot of really great predictions, so I am, uh, my hat's off to you, Mr. Mew72. Um, so he's doing a lot of great plays, but I'm playing conservatively, and I just, I want to win this. I, I'm desperate to win a battle. 
And so far it's going so good. So uh, he goes for a power whip um, in case I stay in. I don't stay in. Uh, he's going to switch out again. I go, I think, actually for the Earthquake here. No, I go for the V-Crate. Damn it, why didn't I go for the Earthquake? I think I shouldn't really go for the Earthquake. Uh, it would probably better be good me. But anyway, I go for the V-Crate. Like, wow, that must have been a crit. That was no crit, uh, ladies and gents. That was no crit at all. Rayquaza, Banded Rayquaza is just that awesome. So here he's going to switch out, going to go out into his ra his own Rayquaza, uh, I'm going to switch out as well. I'm glad I did, I, I mean I knew that, I, I was fearing that he was going to go for the Ice Beam, uh, but he didn't, so whatever. Going to go into Kyogre, uh, I, he's going to just keep on double switching, and I really wish I had entry hazards up, but I just haven't found the time to set up. So anyway, go for the Ice Beam against his Blackberry. Uh, isn't going to do too much, but you know what actually does a lot of damage against um, Ferrothorn? Water Spout. Water Spout, I mean, boosted by the rain, does a metric ton of damage to Ferrothorn. It's like 50%, so I was just going to go for the Water Spout the next turn, expecting him to stay in a power up or something. But instead, he goes out into his Rayquaza, and here is a lame bit of hacks. I get a crit. Crit totally mattered. I have no doubt in my mind. So that is a dead Rayquaza, and I'm sorry. Uh, now it's on Kyogre. Uh, he was thinking maybe I was Specs, or... Well, he knows I'm left over, so I don't know. Um, but I have Thunder... I don't manage to take him out. He survives the hit and goes for rest. I'm like, oh god, rest talking Kyogre. And I asked, actually asked him, I was like, this isn't a uh, sheer cold rest talking Kyogre, is it? Because that, that set actually gained some popularity during the uh, Uber's suspect test of Oko Claws. I think the decision for Oko Claws was, and eh, just let it. Uh, I can't remember whether their Oko moves are banned or not. Oh well. But if they're not, I mean, if they're not actually one of the few sets that can viably pull it off is rest talking Kyogre. Um, but whatever. I'm out into my Rayquaza. I decide, I think, to stay in. Oh yeah, I go for the extreme speed and I get hacks. So there's a little bit of hacks back at him. Um, he goes for the sleep talk, he gets the rest, so it balances out. Although, well, you know, so one chance, one in four chance, one in three. So I get paralyzed again, and he's going to wake up and go for Roar. Um, actually, pretty interesting that he went for Roar. Anyway, now out is going to come Wash. Um, and, uh, well, this is easy. I'll just go for air slashes or, uh, seed flares. I think I'm gonna go for the seed flare, expecting to stay in. Goes out into his Ferrothorn, and seed flare misses. Uh, Wash really doesn't like doing a seed flare. So that, if you'll recall, that's what screwed me over in my first battle with this team against Clefairy Rocks. So, anyway, I'm gonna go out into Deliani, gonna try to finally set up some entry hazards. He goes for the power whip. Um, I'm gonna do Jack. Uh, doesn't really, and I hold up my red card, so it's gonna swap him out into his Giratina. I'm not fearing anything from the Giratina. Uh, I don't think it has a fire type move, so if you play on fire type moves, what's he gonna do? Uh, Dragon Tail me out? Doesn't matter. He's gonna go for a rest here. That's fine. So he's got two rest talkers on his team. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, Ubers, you know, people think of Ubers as an offensive tier. It's not. It is a stally, stally tier. Uh, I actually have data on what's, what tiers are the stalliest. Um, I don't think Uber's is the stalliest, but it's definitely not the most offensive. Um, I guess the most offensive would technically be a little tough. But anyway, I'm going to go for an air slash here, and I'm like, I'm kind of curious. So I get the pledge, like, does that reset sleep turns? I'm not sure if it does. As you're about to see, it does not reset sleep turns. I'm going to flinch him again, uh, but he's going to wake up. So, <laughs> yeah, I, my, uh, my... Rotom Skyform is kicking ass and taking names. He's a leaf on the wind today. Yeah, um, that leaf on the wind is where he gets his name Wash uh, from the movie Serenity, based on the, or which is a continuation of the series Firefly. No idea why he sent out his. Oh, he, I guess he was really hoping to get um, Thunder Wave off. But anyway, I just keep going for the air slashes. I'm surprised at how little damage they're doing. Oh, that did a decent amount. He goes for the power up. I'm not sure why I didn't go for the T-Wave. He really should have gone for the T-Wave. I guess he was predicting me to switch out into someone else. But doesn't matter. Uh, he's going to switch out here, going to go out into his Kyogre. Uh, with the entry hazards and everything else, I'm pretty sure I should be able to well up. So air slash, with uh, the appropriate amount of hacks, I should be able to take this out, him out. And this is like six or seven crits in a row, but uh, not crits, uh, flinches in a row. So at this point, we are outside the realm of statistical likelihood, and the hacks gods are just like, okay, we were, we understand that we were mean to you earlier in the day, so now we're making up for it. So I've taken out, like, how many Pokemon now with just air slash flinches? And so, uh, here I take out his spinner, and this is basically good game, well, I mean, yeah, it's basically a good game because I do still have Pokemon that can 
KO his uh, Giratina, even if uh, my Wash cannot. So I'm at 44 HP, um, but I am... My, this is a bona fide um, Rotom... I'm a, sorry, I don't know why I keep doing that. Shaman Skyform sweep, so that is the game. And uh, I was like, that that was an insane amount of hacks, Mr. Mew 72. You want re uh, Do you want a rematch? And he was like, yes, I kind of do want a rematch. So here is a, is a rematch with our team. He said, okay, this time I'm bringing my A game. I was like, you weren't bringing your A game last time? And he's like, yeah. uh, you know, uh, I was kind of a little bit distracted and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, rematch, rematch time. We're going to do this. And so here is the fourth and final battle um, of the day. Uh, again, again, it's against Mr. Mew72. And so here he's going to lead off with Genesect. I'm going to lead off with Deliani. I'm going to predict him to not go for a fire type move, just go for the U-turn. Um, the nice thing about red card and U-turn is that actually red card takes priority, and so he swapped out into something completely random while not of his choosing. So I'm thinking, this is great. Uh, I'm going to set up spikes. I actually don't think that he has V-Create, but just in case he does, I switch out into Pamphalassa. Um, and as you're going to see, he does, well, I mean, he's got the Draco Meteor, so Draco Meteor sets don't tend to carry the V-Create, so I actually would have been safe to stay in, and I really wish I had, but I actually survived the hit, uh, and here he makes a mistake. He, uh, he'd forgotten that which nature he was, and I'm timid, so I actually outspeed his rash nature Rayquaza, uh, so that is a dead storm. He actually should have just gone for the extreme speed if he'd had it. Uh, but, oh well, that is a dead Rayquaza. And now out is going to come to Genesect, and I think I'm going to sack my... Yeah, I just sacked uh, Kyogre. It's, it's done its job, that's fine. Bye-bye, Kyogre. Uh, great job. And so now he's going to switch out into his Kyogre. That is cool, that is fine. Um, I, actually, my Kyogre is kind of the best Kyogre counter, so I'm going to go out into Nightman! Yeah, I'm not playing the music. I didn't, you notice I didn't play the uh, Always Sunny music for these Blast 2 whenever Kyogre, or uh, whatever I, uh, my, uh, I keep saying the wrong name. My Curem B appears, but, you know, it got, it got old, and it was kind of difficult to do the music stuff. So anyway, uh, I decided not to go for the Outrage in case he sent out his Black Berry. So now I'm going to go out into Deliani. Um, he's going to set up Stealth Rock. I figured he was just going to go for Entry Hazards, maybe uh, T-Wave. Either way, um, Delhani is a great switch out. Uh, I'm going to set up my rocks, uh, and just in case he wanted to switch out into his Giratina, he actually stays in. And here I'm thinking, okay, now he's got. Uh, I'm going to go for spikes. He's going to go for spikes of his own. I'm thinking, okay, two rounds up. I'm thinking he's just going to keep setting up. So let's ruin his day and spin away those rocks. And unfortunately, I'm like, oh god, he predicted that. Now he's going to go out into uh, Giratina, but he actually goes out into his own spinner. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, that's awesome. Um, because I'd rather not have uh, entry hazards on my end than him not have entry hazards on his. So, yeah, I don't have a splin blocker on my team. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm going to go out here into my Rayquaza, uh, expecting him to rapid spin. Instead, he goes for the skull. And I'm like, oh my god, this is the best day ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really, really happy. And I am not sure whether I outspeed, but he's not sure either. So he goes out into his Blackberry, I go for the Earthquake, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be a two-hit KO against his... Yeah, it's definitely going to be a two-hit KO. Banded Rayquaza, not a freaking problem. He's going to switch out here, go out into Insidious. Uh, that's going to be able to take the Earthquake without any question. But you know, I've got enough layers of hazards up, and I'm thinking that uh, switching out might not have been the best move. Well, I mean, he's got a first Death Fodder later, but... I'm pretty sure that uh, it's dead on entry. Maybe it'll be close, but I'm going to try to set up some more hazards later in the battle. Um, although that's what always happens. And also he could spin. He could always spin. So he is going to go ahead and rest up here. I figure, you know, what the hell, maybe I'll get a crit. So that's why I stayed in. Now I'm going to switch out, because I don't want to get hit by a Dragon Tail. Um, also, I think his other move is Will-O-Wisp. So, yeah, don't want to get hit by that either. Uh, if he gets the Dragon Tail here, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, so he gets rest first turn. That's awesome. Going to go for the Outrage! Oh my god, the Outrage animation in uh, Black and White 2 is so beautiful. And I'm really glad that I'm probably going to start transferring all of my teams to Black and White 2 now. Um, now that I can mute the music. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mute the low HP music the next time I get a chance. Yeah, Nightman keeps getting burned. Uh, I don't know what it is about these battles, but he just keeps getting burned and it's completely screwing me over. Anyway, he's going to switch out here into his... Uh, actually into his weaker of the Steel-types, and, um, 
I'm gonna go, I think, I mean, I'm locked into Outrage. I'm, here I'm hoping for only a two-turn Outrage so that I can switch out. Because even a, um, a burned uh, Kieran Black is still pretty impressive. But I'm locked in and I don't get confused this turn. So it was a three-turn Outrage. And here he doesn't actually KO me, but he gets the flinch and the burn's gonna KO. So that's what, that's what it is. It's not a big deal. And I'm certainly not gonna complain about flinches after this battle. So now, yeah, uh, I was trying not to use wash as much of this battle because of the outrageous amount of attacks but you know I'm not gonna pull, I'm not, not gonna pull my punches uh, so here I go for the air slash it's a good move against this entire team uh, go for another air slash and I'm thinking oh he actually I get the flinch and this is getting hilarious again so if I I'm pretty sure I I'm hoping I can take him out with another air slash but it's like tricky and he says they survived on like 24 but I do get the flinch so it doesn't matter and this is excellent because now he can't rapid spin away. So this is going to be a huge deal later in the battle. Um, and now I was going to come Kyogre. And look at all those entries. I think it's what two rounds of spikes, one round, one round, one round, one round of stealth rocks. Uh, so out I'm going to go into Deliani. I am going to set up another freaking layer of entry hazards. That is my goal. Um, so Kyogre is going to go back up to full HP with rest. I don't care. Um, he's going to go out into Insidious. Uh, that is fine. That gives me a great opportunity to set up my entry hazards. Uh, and he's asleep, so I know he's not going to be able to wake up and rest for another turn or so. So I think that's now three layers of spikes. Maybe it's a one, two. I don't know. But anyway, I decide I'm going to switch out here because I need this thing dead. I'm going to go out into my Arceus fighting type um, because it has the uh, Dark Pulse. Honestly, anyone would have been Pokemon. Here. And yeah, I, I, didn't, I wouldn't have minded the Lola Wisp. Um... But yeah, go for the Dark Pulse here before he can wake up, and that is a dead Giratina. That is awesome. I am happy. Now it's going to come to Kyogre. Its health is going to get uh, massively lowered, and I'm thinking, oh god, this is going to be difficult because most of these things are really bulky, and I, I haven't had a chance to combine up, um, and I didn't want to combine up because you get the roar, and here gets the skull. Um, so that was a nice. That was nice for me. Even though I get burned, I'm happy about that because it means I'm going to be able to uh, judgment of the next turn, take out his Kyogre, and that is going to be bad for his Kyogre. Uh, and this is it's pretty impressive considering I didn't get off any combine. So that is a dead Kyogre, and now he is down to what two Steel types. Um, I yeah, well, both of which are by the way going to die to entry hazards. So that is the game, folks. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed these four battles, uh, whichever ones you chose to watch. Um, great games, um, Mr. Mew72, you were a great opponent, a great sport. Uh, folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.